And to start us off, Todd, you may go ahead. Hi, David. Uh, Todd Seeloff, Calgary Sun, Calgary Herald. Um, your first, your thoughts on the game? Frustration and disappointment, I think, to start off. Obviously, we came out tonight and looking to bounce back from the result the other day, and that didn't happen. So uh, first first thoughts in, in the group is, is frustration. Um, and the best thing about, about this is there's a game again in two days. So we have tonight to, to sulk and, and be disappointed, but then we're ready to move on and, and move on from this result. Is this uh, maybe a, a pure case of guys still getting to know each other? I mean, a lot of unfamiliar faces out there and, and a couple of the veterans on, were on the sidelines tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're, there's a lot of new players, a lot of rotation between each game. Um, but that's no excuse for us. Every game that we step into, we want to win. We want to take take home three points. And uh, we haven't done that in the last three games. Um, so it's definitely opportunities to learn and uh, time to change this before before uh, before we get into the thick of the season. Thanks, David. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Benedict, you can go ahead. Thanks, Paige. Uh, Benedict Rhodes from canpl.ca. I'm just wondering, David, uh, how it felt getting back in the lineup and, and getting it back out there on the pitch after a few games away? Yeah, it was good um, great to get 90 minutes in again. Um, but it's it's just f it's frustrating when we get into games like this and we can't score and we can see it again on the counter. Um, so I haven't, haven't let the, the personal side really sink in yet. And uh, you only have a few days to turn around and kind of quickly bounce back. I'm just wondering, how, how do you bounce back ahead of your next game? Uh, I think I just touched on it. I think you take the night to be frustrated and we'll look at the game overnight and into the tomorrow morning. And uh, then you have to move around quickly. Uh, that's, that's the nature of, of this, the, the, of this bubble, this preseason with points. And um, you know, it's, it's going to be the same the whole year. So we want to take this, this disappointment early and, and move on to it. Thank you. Thank you, Benedict. Charlie, is that it? You're, you're doing the hand clapping icon. I can't tell if that's you have a question or not. Yeah, I don't seem to have the uh, the hand up one for some reason. I can't. All right, <laughs> go ahead then. <laughs> hey, David. Um, I know you've kind of come into this season and played a uh, several different positions. You played at center back, played in a double pivot at certain times. Like tonight, you seem to be kind of you know in the middle, sort of trying to play that. That, that central pivot role, just how comfortable were you sort of in that in that position tonight? And what did, what did you make of kind of the way that the way that that was set up at the moment? Yeah, I think I'm comfortable in either center back or center midfield. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we're like we said, we're still feeling out uh, different rotations and how different players play with each other. This is our first five games that we played as a group. And there's, been, you know, five very different 11s. So as a group, we're all we're all getting used to playing with each other. Um, personally, whether that's a center midfield or center back, uh, that doesn't really matter for myself. Um, just we need to to start gelling and getting chemistry built and start turning uh, start turning some games into three points here. Thanks, David. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, we'll take our last question now from Brandon. You can go ahead. Uh, hi, David. Uh, Brandon from Cucks Abroad here. Um, just wanted to ask. Did that um, free kick that rippled the net, I think about 20 minutes close to the end there, did that spur the team on a little bit just to see if you could guys nick one back? Yeah, it, uh, it, it just, just missed the near post there. Um, I think we were just missing a bit of energy and final pass the, the whole 90 minutes. Um, you know, that, that, that little bit of quality in the, in the final third we were missing and uh, across the board, we can provide that tonight and uh, ended up not getting the result we wanted. All right. Thanks, David. And good luck with uh, your next game. Thanks. Thank you very much, Brandon. Uh, and thank you, David, for joining us here tonight. We'll see you at the next match. You. Todd, you can go ahead and start us off once again. Uh, coach, uh, maybe a tough day for all your teams today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, not, not one to remember, really. Um, results are disappointing. Performances, not so much, because there's things in there that we're seeing um, that are new. There's part of this that we, we've got to keep looking at the big picture because in professional sports, we've got to chase results, absolutely. But we're trying to play the long game here. We're trying to keep the guys fresh because we're getting nicks and niggles. Um, we haven't had the same 11 for the first, you know, for the first five games. Um, 
I think all teams other than Valor really have had their slump. Um, I think we're just going through it now. So just looking for reactions, really. Today's game may be missing the glue of those veterans that uh, you chose to sat, sit tonight, uh, Escalante, Nick, uh, 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 Trafford. Sergio, Sergio's still not quite right. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it gives us a chance here. to We, we want to get – we want to see what we've got. And sometimes through this process, you, you, you learn a lot in terms of the style of play you're playing. You learn a lot in how you defend. And you learn a lot about what you're missing when, when you don't have the veterans on the team. So I think we've got to get a healthy balance of that. But it's always hard in, you know, a 48-hour turnaround to get guys ready. And, and you're risking injury when you haven't played for 280-odd days. And it's a 35-degree heat. So I said we went with a young lineup today. Um, we possessed the ball very well, but we didn't punish. Thanks, Coach. Cheers, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Benedict, you can go ahead. Thanks, Paige. Uh, Benedict Rhodes from KenPL.ca. Uh, Tommy, just wondering what you made of Richard Lucas' performance on the right-hand side tonight. Yeah, it was exciting. I mean, that's the thing. A fit Richard Luca, he goes all the way to the end. You know, second half, you could see him tiring after about the 60, 65th minute and where I'm an iron to take him off. It's tough. Massive pick. Like I said, this lad hasn't played for 18 months, nor is Ali Moussi, nor have a lot of these lads. So no excuses. He, he was he was good. Um, he, he had a couple of really nice moments. And I'll tell you, what about his shot? I mean, an inch away here and there. And it's another one of those crackers that this, this league has seen a lot of. So, you know, game of inches. Thanks, thanks Tommy. Thank you, Benedict. Uh, Brandon, you can go ahead. Uh, hi, Tommy. Brandon from Connects Abroad, Connects at Home. Um, just overall, long day at the office. I think I that kind of goes for everyone. But um, is it more just another night of recovery and just pushing on for that next match? Yeah, we're on that hamster wheel right now. So it's frustrating. You want a response after a loss. We got another loss. So, you know, we, we had this in the Island Games as well. Um, when you get the back-to-backs and sometimes when you're giving up, Sometimes you miss a little bit of chemistry and we're still trying to figure out who our best chemistry is and who gives us that cutting edge. And yeah, it's frustrating. It's disappointing, but we've got to keep saying, you know, it's a long season. It's really, again, it's about the last two games of the season, really, and putting enough points on the board that you're there for playoffs. And then everything else is just remember by who wins the, the championship. All right. Thanks, Tommy. Uh, good luck next game. Thanks. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, Charlie, I saw the hand go up. Hey, Tommy. Uh, David Norman Jr., I, I, I kind of just asked him there, but I feel like this was maybe the first time we've seen him in, in sort of that, that role at the, the base of the midfield. Just what, do, what did you make of, of him and just how important he is as a player who's kind of versatile to be able to be plugged into any role you need? Yeah, he's good. He's a two-for-one, isn't he? I mean, we played him there in the last game against Ottawa where we had a, a really good performance. Um, and today he was good today. Uh, you know, I think we did some really good things, really positive things. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's, we're trying to build the patterns and we're trying to get them, but we've got to start punishing them because if we punish them, now we're all sat here saying what a great performance it was. But we didn't, right? So we've got to address that. We've got to have some, you know, meetings and, 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 and we've got to take some accountability. So on me, the, 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 who we pick is on me. Um, but then now we perform. Um, everybody has their own.